Hello, I'm Ashley Stryker. I'm here at Strike to show you how to get these heat-free waves. My first step for heat-free waves is obviously to wash your hair or just wet it. And then I like to put it up in a towel. After you've wrapped your hair, you're going to unwrap it. And a very important step is to not touch it too much. That really gets rid of a lot of frizz. You definitely don't want to overly touch your hair while it's drying. So you're sort of just going to naturally get your part without brushing it too much. I have bangs, so this is a very good tip for bang people. I usually will just brush my bangs. I like to use just a, a wet brush that's not going to disrupt any of the rest of your hair too much. And I'm gonna brush my bangs forward, like so. And then you're just going to naturally place the hair sort of where you want it to dry. Don't brush your hair. It's very important because this is what gives you the texture. After it's all dry, it will sort of dry with nice waves, even if you don't have super wavy hair you'll still dry with a lot of volume and texture. When it's very, very wet like this, I'll usually just use a little bit of a really light sort of defrizzer. I really like milk for just the ends. And to apply it, I just like to squeeze it into the hair rather than rake it through or brush it through. I'm just going to squeeze it into the ends this also sort of clumps your hair together to give you some nice separation and get rid of frizz. Okay, so now this is the very, very, very most important part is to not touch it while it dries because the more you touch it, the more frizzy it gets and the more sort of weight that will happen with your hair. So for now, we're just gonna wait. Okay. So these are my heat-free waves. My next step, because it's a little fluffy feeling, I'm going to take either the stuff that you used before is always good. Um, it's just a really, really light defrizzer. Doesn't weigh your hair down at all. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and do the same thing that I did before, which is just like get in there and squeeze it through. You don't want to disrupt any of the waves, so you definitely don't want to brush it through, but just going through and squeezing it in and sort of lifting so you're, you're getting a little bit more volume as you go. That's a lot of volume. Then with my bangs, I put a little bit on my bangs and brush it through. They're a little wild. At this point in the game, I actually really like my hair like this. It's very undone. Another option is, this is another styling balm um, for afterwards. It's just a very, very light sort of texturizer. It's just gonna sort of give you a little bit of separation in there so that you're not one solid fluffy mass. Also, if you're wanting a little bit more volume, I would say to use some sort of texture spray. You can either spray it just in the roots or all over just to give you like a little bit more volume. Again, without disrupting the curls at all, you wanna definitely keep them in place. But that definitely gives you more volume. <laughs> These are my heat-free waves. It gets even better once you sleep on them one night. So I know this is a really simple tutorial, but it's also a very important one. If any of you have any extra tips or any comments, please leave them below.